In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tie a rope mat using some hemp rope. So I have some hemp rope here, and this is a quarter inch hemp rope. I'm using about 20 feet of this rope, which is enough for a 4 pass version of this mat. A 5 pass version, for example, would require about 4 feet more of your rope. Now, before we actually start tying our mat, we need to sort out the ends. I use a common whipping technique to whip my ends, which gives it a nice decorative look. Now, if you want, you can also just use some tape and that will work just fine as well. I'm going to show you how to use this technique in a separate video, which you can find in the description of this video below. Now, the other thing that you can do if you are using natural rope is to use some wax on it. Waxing the rope will prevent it from fraying too much, so if you have some small strands sticking out, you can fix that using some wax. Now, once you have prepared your rope, it is time to fold it in half, so find the middle point in your rope and place it like this, horizontally. Take your left end and twist it, basically creating a loop. Then what we're going to do is we are again going to take the same end, so the left one, and fold it over the first loop, like this, over. Then using the same end, we're going to travel over these two cords and under this one. So here and then pull your rope through. Once you have done your three loops, it is time to split them and we're going to split them by traveling the opposite of these cords. So start with an over, then go under, over, under and over. Once you have done that, you have basically tied your rope mat and what you do is you take the same end that you have been using and you place it next to your other end. This creates the last bite and you have completed your mat at this point. Now the first thing that I would recommend is working in some slack into this knot. So basically pull out your working end a bit and then work in some extra cord or rope I should say and this will get you some more slack which will make your tying or actually doubling the knot a bit easier. So after you have done that, use one of your ends to follow the other end. And this starts to double up your knot. Once you run out of rope in one of your ends, simply switch to your other end and start doubling up or tripling from that side. Again, we follow the other end to get a nice consistent look. And you can see that I have already doubled up my mat and I can now triple it, quadruple it and so on until I run out of my rope.
As you can see, I have tied my mat and adjusted it a bit. Now, you can use it as it is, but I would recommend stitching both ends together in order to prevent your mat from unraveling. You're going to need a simple needle, as well as some thread, and I recommend that the thread is about the same color as your mat, in order to prevent it from sticking out too much. We're first going to thread our needle, like this, and we're going to pierce our thread using our needle. like this on the other side we're going to tie a simple half hitch or overhand knot in order to prevent our thread from slipping out while we're stitching here we have the passes that we would like to stitch together. Take your needle and go under two of the passes. Then we're going to turn back down and we're going to go under all of our passes and exit on the bottom. We're going to turn back up and go through all of the passes and exit at the top, like this. Now all we need to do is go down two passes again. And with this we have stitched together our passes and all we need to do now is basically make a couple of knots in order to prevent our thread from slipping out. Like this. And once more. And then finally, what I do is I go down to the other side of my passes here and then snip the cord there.